After setting up your code book and your data sheet, you're now ready to enter the data from each of your surveys. A quick way to enter the responses for each survey is to use the data validation function available within Excel. To do this, place your cursor where you would like to enter your data in the first cell that you wish to enter your data. Select data from the menu. Select validation from the pull down menu. Choose list from the first available pull down menu under validation criteria. And now Excel is asking you where do you want to source your information from or your options from. Click on this icon and move your cursor to your code book. In the case of question one, status, we will want to use the codes that we've set up to indicate the status options that students may have selected in the Campus Life Survey. Highlight these four options under your code. Click on the small icon to return to the data validation tool and click OK. You will now have the option where you had your where you placed your mark, your cursor or your marker to pull down and select one of the codes as a response for this question. Before you do the first data entry, you want to pull down or copy for all your questionnaires or copy the option to use validation. Simply place your cursor, pull down, and you now have the option for each of the questions. To enter the first response, click on the pull down menu and choose the appropriate response for questionnaire number one, question one. To see it done again, in the example for number two, students could choose to indicate whether they had visited the cafe or they hadn't visited the cafe, whether they did music, sport, or travel. In this case, there is already a pull down menu. I want to delete what was previously added and create a new selection. To delete a validation, return to the data option at the top of the screen, select validation, and select clear all. Click on OK and the data validation option is removed from the cell that was highlighted. To replace the data validation option, I will do the steps that I did previously. Return to the data validation menu option at the top of the screen, select validation. In the pull down menu, choose list. Go to the source or to the code book, which is where your options are available. Select book. The options for cafe were yes or no. Select these two, highlight them, click on the icon, click OK, and the data validation options have returned. I check to make sure that the correct options, in this case, yes cafe bar and no cafe bar, which is what I would like, I want to provide that data validation option in all for all my questionnaires. I place my cursor over the small square on the cell until it becomes a cross, a dark black cross, and I pull down for the copy and paste function. When I place my cursor on each of these cells, I can see that the function has worked and data validation is available. To enter my response for questionnaire number one, question two, I simply select the option that the student has provided on the questionnaire. 